Good morning, y'all. Welcome back. Today is Saturday, August 5th. It's currently 9 25 in the morning, and by the looks of it, y'all can tell I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair done. I don't know if I'm gonna take y'all long because I'm just getting the silk pressed and it's nothing really special, but I'm also not going to my original lady. I'm probably gonna come back and tell y'all more about that, but I think I'm gonna just come back and talk to y'all once I'm finished with this because I'm really fucking tired and I just don't feel like talking right now. So I'm gonna come back and see y'all once I'm done with my hair. Hey y'all, y'all notice anything new? Well, not new, but I just got curls. And if you know me, you know I never get curls, me personally. I I don't know, I just kind of feel weird as fuck right now, but I got curls because the lady was like, if I leave my hair, you know, just straight, it won't look good because of my split ends or some shit like that. And I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about, lady? Because I just got a silk press in June and that shit looks fucking okay to me. But her and her assistant, they were just talking about like the new client special that I booked that. I was like, no, I guess it comes with like the hydration treatment or whatever the fuck. I don't fucking know. And I really didn't give a fuck because I didn't need all that. I didn't want all that at the time. Like I told y'all, um, my original lady was out of town. So this was just a one time fucking thing. Another thing she said was next time I come back, we can talk about me cutting my hair. She showed me a picture of like the back of my head and how much she wanted to cut off and what the fuck I almost wanted to walk the fuck out and then I asked her how much the cut was and it was $45 so I would have to pay my you know the silk press fee plus that $45 they just basically be basically they wanted me to get that all today and I'm like no like they were just trying to be on dick like bitch I'm not fucking getting that I don't want that I just want you to wash blow dry and straighten so I can get the fuck anyways today all I have planned for today was just me getting my hair done. I'm going to a baby shower later on and I need to go pick up my pottery. Um, in my last vlog, I went to Quigley's Playhouse and you have to wait two weeks to go ahead and pick it up. So I'm gonna go pick that up. I might paint it there and I'm gonna take you along with me. Right now, I'm about to go ahead to a few stores. Like I told you, I'm going to a baby shower. I'm just gonna go pick up a few more items. Once I pick up those items, I'm gonna come back probably like before I head out to the baby shower and give y'all a little haul of what I have and you know I'm gonna take y'all along with me to the baby shower I'm sure the decorations will be cute so stay tuned for that but anyways we finna get on the road and get to these shopping stores I'm probably gonna go to Burlington uh Marshall's you know them type of stores but anyways don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's go shopping <laughs> I'm at the baby shower well I'm outside I'm finna show y'all what all I got but I didn't take y'all with me shopping because my phone died, but I had inserted a clip of this wine glass. It was Halloween edition and it was just so cute. But y'all, I keep messing with my hair because y'all fucking see. <laughs> I just don't even know why I fucking let her put some fucking curls on my head because they're already fucking dead. But let me just go ahead and show y'all what I got. The angle might be weird because I don't have like a phone holder in here. So we just gonna have to make do but i'm gonna go ahead and set y'all up so hold on all right y'all i'm gonna show y'all what i got so i'm gonna start off with these onesies i feel like every baby needs like white onesies it's just simple easy to put on something slight you know nothing too serious and i got them this little set shorts and a shirt you know pink girly those are the vibes and just another shirt i found Next, we got some sets I have found from Marshall's Home Goods, one of them stoves, but pink again. Comes with a little baby hat, long sleeve. See, I don't wanna get too much pink, but like, I don't know. I got me this little yellow set, got them this yellow set. Hello, what is his name? Mama Sunshine, just cute. Oh, and I got them two books too. The Fancy Nancy. If you don't know who the fuck this is, then you're not a real bitch. Like, everybody knows who the fuck Fancy Nancy is if you a real bitch. But I just got her books. And this one, Princess Potty Time. Just simple shit. Like, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and walk in here. I'm gonna show y'all what it's like. I know it's gonna be so pretty, but that's all I got. I had wanted to get some juicy pulling up i wanted to get some custom earrings but the girl that i found on instagram she has said like 
it takes five weeks and what the fuck i'm gonna be gone in five weeks and i wanted to get some crocs but like i told y'all i was tired drained i didn't really have time so this is what we got i'm happy i'm ready to go in i'm gonna walk in so yeah <laughs> What's up, y'all? I done made it back home from the baby shower. The baby shower was fun, and the theme was so pretty. Baby True got so much stuff. Like, she has a lot of stuff. But congratulations to Travis and Treasure. I wish them nothing but the best, and I know they're going to be good parents. I also told you I was going to go to the pottery house, but they had clothes, so I'm probably just going to save it for tomorrow. I don't think I'm doing nothing else today, but I'm about to straighten my hair. That's what the fuck I'm about to do. Like, I really just can't believe I really let the fucking bitch put some curls on my head. <laughs> like, look at this. This shit did not even fucking last. But also for this vlog, I really don't know how it's going to play out because I'm supposed to be going back to PV next week. And some of the activities I want to do are out here. So it's just like, I don't know. I just need to replan it. But once I have that information find out, I'm going to come back and let y'all know and update y'all, of course. So I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Whenever I take y'all with me to the pottery house and I'm going to check in with the audience. So, bye. Welcome back, y'all. So, I know I said I was going to go to the pottery place to pick up what I made and paint it, but I went to go eat with my mama at the sticks. If you don't know what the six is, it's a restaurant in McKinney, and I feel like they have the best restaurant fries than any other restaurant I've been to. So if you're in McKinney, go try them out and try their fries and let me know what y'all think because I feel like they have the best ones. But today is Monday and I'm about to go do that right now. I'm about to head out and bring y'all along with me. The only thing I'm worried about is once I'm done painting it, how long it has to go back in the kennel because I'm supposed to be going back to PV either Wednesday or Thursday and I'm going to take my ashtray with me. That's the whole fucking point of why I made it. So whenever I get there, I'm going to ask them and I'm going to update y'all about that as well. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to be going to the zoo and I'm real happy about that. I haven't been to the zoo in a long ass time. Like, I don't even know how long it's been, but I'm also kind of nervous and worried because it be motherfucking hot. And I know we're going early, but I ain't trying to be out there too, too long and start sweating and shit. Like, 
it'd be like 105 103 ain't nobody got time for that but i'm really excited to go so i'm gonna take y'all along with me but right now let's go ahead and head out to the pottery place so i can start painting and show y'all how all that is gonna go so let's go All right, y'all, so this is my ashtray. This is what we got going right now. And this is my bowl. Cute. Shot glass. Looks a mess. All right, y'all, I just finished all the painting. Um, they told me that it's gonna take a fucking week to be in the kennel so it can be glossy. So looks like I'm gonna be bringing that back to PV. Probably gonna have to come back down here well, whenever I do and pick it up right now, I'm going to go to this place called Amigos and get some stuffed jalapenos. You have seen that in my last vlog. They was good. So I'm going to get me some more. But I don't think I'm doing anything else today. If I do, I'll come back. But if not, then I'm going to catch y'all in the morning before I go to the zoo. Good morning, y'all. So we're about to head out to the zoo. I'm going to take y'all along with us. We run a little bit late. But that's okay. So I'm going to see y'all whenever we get there. Yeah, now I'm feeding the giraffes. Oh, shit. There you go. Alright, y'all. I may look a little sweaty because it's hot as fuck out here, but we finna leave out the zoo. I tried to get as much footage as I can, but the animals was acting like they was just as hot as we was which i'm pretty sure they was so most of them wasn't out and i really couldn't get no good angles but i tried to get what i can right now we're gonna head to pluckers i don't think i'm gonna take y'all along but overall it was cool i need to go to the fort Worth zoo i've never been there so hopefully that's next and i'm gonna take you along with me there but until then i'm gonna come back and talk to y'all whenever i can so stay tuned Welcome back y'all. So it has been a few days. The last thing y'all heard from me was just me talking about the zoo and how everything went. 
Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and lace all up about what's been going on in those past few days. So I have moved back to PV, which means I'll be doing my activities in Houston or like the nearby cities. Today's the 19th. I have got my nails done today. I have went to Liz Betty. I talked about her in one of my vlogs. So make sure y'all go and book with her if you have PV. This was $65 with Link. You cannot beat that. I also got my hair done yesterday. I ain't record because I've never vlogged getting braids. And if you know, braids take fucking forever. So I didn't know how like the footage would be and all that. That's why I didn't record. Maybe next time I will. I don't know. Tonight, I might be going to camp. I don't know if I'm going to take y'all along because I took y'all along to camp with me when I first went my very first time. But I might show y'all footage throughout the night here and there. I just really wanted to come and talk to y'all so y'all on the same track as me and whenever I edit like my videos are good on the timeline and y'all know what's going on. So I'm going to come back and talk to y'all whenever I have the different activities planned out for this month's vlog and let y'all know what they are. But I might come back later on if I record or not. Y'all will see whenever I edit and whenever I post this video. But until then, stay tuned and keep watching. What's up, y'all? So it has been a few days since y'all gotten laced up, but now that y'all on the right track, we come up with a new activity today. Today is Thursday the 24th, and I'll be going to the Fine Arts Museum. If you don't know, in Houston, on Thursday, the museums be free, so I don't think I have to pay for anything besides parking. I'm not sure how much parking is, but whenever I find that out, I'll let y'all know. It's two other places I want to try, too. This place called the Cat Cafe and this Oyster Bar. It's another place I want to try, too. Basically, we just might be trying different shit all day, and I'm going to take y'all along. But I'm about to finish getting ready. Once I'm at the museum, I'm going to come back and talk to y'all. I'm going to show y'all how everything is and let y'all know my final review of it and what I thought of it as well. So stay tuned. And yeah, we just finna get into different shit today. So this exhibit made everything black and white. I'm going to get a face view. Hold on. All right, do I look black and white to y'all or do I look yellow? y'all i don't left the museum i made it to the oyster bar but i'm about to tell y'all what i thought about the museum so when i first got there i was confused because like i just did not know what the fuck to do like i've never been plus i'm not from here so i have no idea but i just started following people which led me to the black and white exhibit i found that cool so i inserted a clip of it what y'all thought of it let me know but she told me well i asked the lady just to double check if i was in the right place and she told me they had three buildings and i was only in one of the buildings i didn't walk to the other two because I just didn't feel like fucking walking plus I was hungry so maybe next time I'll try to look at the other two and see if they're better or not all that but I can see why it's three because they didn't have much in the one that I went to I tried to insert what I found interesting I know it wasn't a lot but they didn't really have much like I said right now I just made it to the oyster bar I don't even know the fucking restaurant's name like I'll try to give y'all more once I get in there I've had a raw oyster and a fried oyster like years ago and I found it good but I have no like memory of how it tasted or anything so hopefully the ones I'm about to get are good because I'm hungry and I don't want to waste my money <laughs> but I'm gonna take y'all along I just wanted to give y'all that update keep watching and yeah let's go ahead and get some food because I'm hungry they got this cute little bar out here this is really cute Baby, ya yo me enteré, se nota cuando me ve Ahí donde no has llegado, sabes que yo te llevaré Y dime que quieres beber, es que tú eres mi bebé Y de nosotros quién va a hablar si no nos dejamos ver Yo sé Dolce, yo sé Bulgari, cuando te lo quito Después de los paris, las copas de vino, las libras de mar Y tú estás bien suelta, yo de safari Tú me ves el culo fenomenal, pa' yo devorarte como animal Si no te has venido, yo te voy a esperar
So which flavor is this one? So starting right here, I have the garlic and fennel. This is going to be the barbecue. And this one's chipotle bourbon. Okay. All right, enjoy. All right, so I'm going to try my oyster. Oh, this is really good. They look good. Let me show y'all. Alright y'all, I'm back where I stay at and let me just go ahead and get <laughs> your girl, let me just go ahead and start talking about it. So I'm going to talk to y'all about them oysters and them snails. Like I really tried some motherfucking escargots. Like it's so crazy because when I was in French class, like I'd be like, what the fuck? They be eating snails. She was like, yeah, it's good. Them shits was good. I rate everything an 8 out of 10. The place is called Margot's Oyster Bar. I probably rated it a 9 out of 10 overall. It was good like i would go back and get some more get everything i had like it was just fine tomorrow i'm supposed to be going to a party i might bring y'all along if i don't then i'm gonna go ahead and close on my vlog probably tomorrow or i might do an activity and then close on my vlog i don't know i just wanted to come and talk to y'all just to let y'all know like um how the oysters and shit was but as y'all can tell it's raining i'm gonna go ahead and run in here because i don't want to get too wet but y'all the motherfucking snails was fine like it was just so good with the bread and they were squishy but like the bread like 
it was just good like i just can't believe i fucking tried that like wow <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna talk to y'all soon i hope y'all like the activities i did today and just keep watching and tuning in hi guys welcome back if you're new here my name is aisha and today we'll be doing different activities like do y'all see how fucking fake that was like that's just not me as a person <laughs> recently somebody told me that in my videos i talk a lot with my hands and a lot of people talk with their hands i guess i'm one of them i don't know i don't really care about that but they were like you also don't smile a lot or anything like did y'all see how fucking fake that was like if you just know me as a person like that's just not me like i'm not gonna get on camera and act fucking fake like i can never do that but today's saturday it's the 26th today all i have planned was just going to a cafe i'm gonna go to this um restaurant afterwards and i might take out to the farmer's market i'm outside the cafe right now it's called Elgato cat cafe or something like that and basically it's a little cafe and they have cats like real life cats all around she told me that they had like 20 or 21 cats in the place i don't know i have found this off tiktok and now i'm here if you know me you know i love animals so i'm not gonna have a problem with this i'm gonna take my book in here but it's just the cats are probably gonna just drag me because i want to play with them like i just really love animals they need to make a dog cafe if they had a dog cafe i probably would have went there first in here because i like dogs more than i like cats but i'm excited to see what it's like after this it's a restaurant i want to try called bodega burger i seen on instagram and they burgers look good as fuck i don't know if i'm gonna post it on my food page y'all i don't know but i'm gonna take y'all along with me and i'm gonna take y'all along to the farmer's market i had one to maybe like a two weeks ago and I'm going to show y'all what that's like. But I'm about to go ahead and run in here. I'm going to give y'all footage of everything. So stay tuned and keep watching. Let's go see what these cats up to. I hope they not sleep because I hope it ain't no badass cats either. But yeah, let's go in here and see. So the lady said this is the new and shy cat area. Look how big that cat is. And then this is the other one. Hi. Y'all, Hi. I'm like, it's only two cats in here. She over here hiding right here. These are the cats. I'm like, where are the other two? And then the other one right here, right in front of my face. And this little thing, I was not even paying attention. <laughs> we done made it to burger bodega hopefully it's good because they shit had looked real good when i saw it online I'm gonna try my fries. 
I don't like onions. I didn't know it came with onions on my fries, but. The regular ass fries. I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all when I leave here. I'm about to eat. It's loud. Hopefully y'all can hear me and the person is looking at me, but yeah. All right, y'all, I done got done eating and it was good, I ain't gonna lie. The burger was good. It's like the buns was soft and the meat was like good too. It was, um, it had a lot of cheese, not, it had enough cheese, I would say. And the fries, you know, it was just some regular eyes, loaded fries, nothing too special about that. But I definitely recommend the place if you out here or you stay by it, Burger Bodega, it's real cool. Oh, and it's um, really cute on the inside, I feel like, but it's kind of small on the inside, like I told y'all. It was loud and small in there, but it's still worth it to go. Honestly, I don't know if I want to go to the farmer's market. I just got done eating. I'm tired. I might just save it for tomorrow and bring y'all along with me. You know, deep clean Sunday. Got to get my life together for the upcoming week. So I might just take y'all to that tomorrow and just go home for today. But I'm going to talk to y'all about the cat cafe. So the cat cafe, it was cool. They have two sections. Um, it's the main section and then... The section with the new or shy cats or whatever she said and it was 18 dollars per person at first it was 15 the tiktok said it was 15 but i guess they blew up and then they started changing changing prices or whatever i don't know but i liked it i didn't even get to read like i told y'all i was too busy playing with the cats some of them was chill it was this one cat in there i just knew it had an attitude i think it was a boy cat and it was a big cat too but it let me pet him so I don't know. I'll be trying to tell y'all. I'm an animal whisperer. I'll be trying to tell you. Don't believe me. But yeah, today was a good day. It was a cool day. I'm finna head back home. I'm gonna come and talk to y'all tomorrow when I'm about to head out to the farmer's market. I might just talk to y'all when I get there and then show y'all a little bit of footage. Show y'all if I buy anything. Hopefully they got some good mango. I don't know why, but I just been craving fucking mangoes. Like, mm -hmm. and I need a watermelon too. So remind me. But I hope y'all liked everything I did today. Keep watching, and I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all tomorrow. Good evening, y'all. Today is Sunday, and y'all know yesterday I told you I was going to take y'all to the farmer's market today. I just got here. I'm going to go ahead and walk in here. I'm going to show y'all what it's like. They have a lot of different vendors. Also, don't fucking come here if you're not going to spend money. Like, this is how they get their money. Y'all know, like, just don't fucking come if you're not going to buy nothing. I told y'all I wanted me some mangoes. I'll probably give me a whole lot of mangoes from here. I don't know what else I want. I really just want some mangoes. But I'm going to take y'all along. Also, later on today, I'm supposed to be going to the movies. Y'all know they have $4 tickets. I didn't know that. I saw that online, and then I had called um, the closest theater near me just to double check, and they said that it's true, so your girl finna go to a movie. It's called... I forgot what the movie's called. It's called Grand Tiramusu Terra something, something about a car. I don't know. I watched a little bit of the trailer, and it looks good, so I'm gonna see what it's hitting on, but yeah, let's go ahead and walk in here, and I'm gonna let y'all know, give y'all updates throughout the day, so let's go. All right, so this is what it looked like when you first get in here, but when I get in here, it's gonna be a whole bunch of shit. So stay tuned. So they just have a lot. This is just the beginning. I already got me some mangoes, big ones too. Like they just have shit all over. Y'all just gonna have to come. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, okay. All right, y'all. I'm back in my car right now. I tried to show y'all as much as I could. I hope y'all got the gist of everything. It's basically in this area that secluded all the vendors, but the vendors are right next to each other. Like they damn near stacked on top of each other. So it's gonna be hot as fuck in there. It's probably like the same temperature as it is outside on the end. So be prepared for that if you come. I come up here to get my fruits. You can get your fruits for the Lolo. Y'all know the Mexicans gonna try to get their hustle on. So like I said, don't come up here if you're not gonna spend no money because that's wasting your time and wasting their time. They're probably gonna harass you as soon as you walk in because like I said, they trying to get that sale. I got me some mangoes. I'm glad. I don't know if I'm a juice or not. I'm going to have to wait and see whenever I get home. But I'm about to go back home or run a few more errands. I'm going to come back and talk to y'all before I head out to the movies. I'm going to let y'all know what I think of the movie. Hopefully it's good because I, at first I was like, yeah, this shit look fucking lame. So I don't know. Maybe it will change my mind. And I can't pass them no $4 ticket. Like, girl, y'all know, know how I feel about the movie. So we going to stay tuned for that. I'm going to let y'all know. But I just wanted to show y'all how the market looked like it's another one i want to go to i might vlog it or i might just go there first and 
post about it on my Instagram. I don't know, but stay tuned and I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all later on. Welcome back y'all. So it has been about a few days since I last recorded anything for y'all. The last thing y'all saw for me was just me going to movies. I went to go see Gran Turismo, Turismo, something like that. I don't really know. But before I get into that, let me tell y'all about the beginning of this week, which is crazy. So Monday, actually, before I get into this, y'all gonna have to act like I go to PB, just keep up. So mind you, Monday morning, I was in Delco. Delco is a building. From Delco, I went to Duncan. Basically, the story is about me losing my keys. So when I left Delco, I had my keys and I went to Duncan. I left Duncan to go back to Delco. And I remember leaving Duncan I had a bag in one hand and my drink in the other hand. I didn't even realize I didn't have my keys at the time because my hands was occupied. So now I'm back in Delco. We were about to have class, but my professor didn't show, so we left. Before I, I was about to leave, I'm like, wait, I don't even have my keys. So I had to walk back to Duncan. Duncan were like, they didn't have any keys. Nobody turned in anything. So I had to walk back to Delco to see if anybody turned in keys. Nobody turned in keys. At this point, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Where's my keys? Because like, I never lose my keys or anything like this. So now I'm like going back and forth from Duncan to Goku. And then I asked the people in the library because Duncan is like in our library, basically. They were like, oh no, nobody's turning anything in. You can like ask MSC. The MSC is basically a cafeteria and then ask like the police department and park management. Basically Monday, I walked around the whole motherfucking campus from like, like I would say from like 11 to like five p.m. and I cannot find my keys and I'm telling y'all only went to Delco, Duncan, back to Delco. So I'm like nobody's seen my keys or anything like that. Tuesday morning comes, I still can't find my keys and I'm calling, like I'm retracing my steps all over the place. I'm calling the places I called yesterday, Monday. They're saying no, nobody turned in anything. So at this point, it's like middle of the day, Tuesday. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I finally call a locksmith. He gets here. My fucking roommate's just playing music. He gets here and then Basically, he's trying to make a key for my car so I can get in my car. I had to call the police department for them to unlock my car. I'm going to insert some pics as well. The locksmith made a key, the first key. I'm like, Lord, please let this work. It doesn't work. <laughs> he makes a second key. The second key doesn't work. He makes a third key. The third key does not fucking work. Then he makes a fourth one. He's like, wait, I can do something else because the fourth one didn't work. So this is his fifth time. I'm like, look, at this point, if it doesn't work, you can just leave i'm gonna call somebody else so lo and behold it finally works after the fifth key and he was like i can make you three keys blah 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 just to throw in you know just to have backups basically i'm like okay cool that's fine why as i soon why as soon as i pay this man he leaves i get a call probably like five minutes after we're talking about oh somebody found your keys you can come get them so that's what the fuck's been going on i lost my keys found my keys had to pay for extra keys and now I'm here. But let me talk about the movie. So the movie was really good. I rated it a 10 out of 10. It was like, I didn't even, I didn't know it was based on a true story and I didn't know it was based off a game, but that's kind of cool how he learned from a game and then he did it real life. I don't know, I just really liked the movie. It surprised me because at first I didn't want to watch the movie because like I'm not really into cars. Like I don't know anything about cars, but it turned out good and I rated it a 10 out of 10. But I just wanted to come and talk to y'all about this. Wanted to lace y'all up about what's been going on. Make sure y'all stay tuned for my next vlog. This is just my outro. So I'm going to say if you watch this vlog to the end, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all in my next one.